Hello, this is Andre with my rare and out of print music collection volume 6. The reason I'm doing another one so close on to my other new ones is because I made a mistake actually. Looking back at my old uh, blogs on this subject I realized that I actually overlapped one particular CD and that was Cameo's Alligator Woman on the newer blog from my earlier ones. So to make up for that I'm gonna deliver um, 14 new albums for you that are actually rare and out of print that I dug out of my collection while searching through it. This is a purchase that I got just recently. This is a Third World's Sense of Purpose album. It's really more of a synthesized 80's um, R&B funk album than a reggae album, but it's a really rare edition of my collection and I'm glad I have it. This I actually got new. This is um, Inner Conflicts by Billy Cobham. Uh, it features uh, the Brecker Brothers and Alfonso Johnson and John Schofield and uh, Peter and Sheila E. Escovito, Ernie Watts, you know, anybody who was involved in jazz uh, funk at the time. And this is an album that Wounded Bird, who released this album, put out a print a few years ago. And it uh, commands a pretty hefty penny now, but I'm actually glad I have this. This is probably one of the rarest uh, albums in my collection. This is... Uh, Positive Force, we've got the funk. Positive Force backed up the Sugar Hill Gang uh, when they did Rapper's Delight. So this is the album that features them singing and their own music. And it's almost impossible to find now even at a hefty price. I'm glad I got it when I did. This is uh, um, Kashif's Love Changes from 1987. It's not really that hard an album to find, but it is out of print. And you know you never know about these things, so I always keep that consider that valuable. This album, I got it. It was kind of a discount record at Borders Books and Music in my area. About the time it came out, it was a Sony Special Products album. Kind of a budget line, but it's a great record. It's very, very, very out of print now and very, very hard to get. And this is one of my favorite rare albums that I have in my collection. This is another ultra, ultra rare one. I ordered it and obtained it for about five or six bucks, and now it's getting triple digits on Amazon. This is The Best of Mutiny, a P-Funk spin-off band featuring Jerome Braley. It's uh, the closest you can get to having their music because their original albums are all, uh, most of them never been on CD, so this is a good collection to have. Uh, this is Ashford and Simpson. Uh, is it still good to you? It's a 1978 album. I got this through the BMG Music Club when they reissued all their albums. They only had this one, and this one along with all the others is out of print now, but who knows? I think they'll probably put them back into print on some other label eventually, but that's where that's at. This is War, the music band. Now, this is one of their critically panned double albums from 1979. It was reissued by Avenue Records, um, actually on its 20th anniversary, and went out of print shortly thereafter, and I'm really glad I got a hold of this CD because I have to counter people. It's really very good. Really is. This is a Roy Ayers double album, um, In the Dark, and you might be surprised from 1984 and 85. They're kind of electro fusion albums, and um, the Columbia label made them available on this um, British import, Tower of Power, and Lonnie Liston Smith also had records on this series, and these are long out of print, and they're uh, getting very valuable. This actually I found at a local music store um, called Dr. Records, and it's called uh, Tavacron by Alan Holsworth. It has very Star Trek inspired um, artwork. The CD is very hard to find, so I'm glad I found that one. I found this at the same place. This album, I didn't even know it was on CD until I found it. This is Ronnie Laws's Flame from 1979. It's an original EMI Manhattan album, probably from the late 80s. Pretty good sound for the era, even though it's a analog recording remastered, but really worth having. This is the Little River Band Sleep Catcher. Now, I heard their greatest hits, and I always like that song reminiscing, but I wanted to see what one of their albums had to offer. Now, this one's out of print and very valuable, but it, in fact, this album does contain three bonus cuts and uh, has reminiscing on it, and it's not a really bad album from Little, Little River Band, and I obtained it very cheaply, as a matter of fact. This is Omar, his second album called Music. He's an unknown British neo-soul artist, this album has been one of his hardest to get, and I'm glad I got a hold of it at a relatively inexpensive price. This is from 1992. 
And last but not least, the Brothers Johnson Kickin'. Now, this is out of print. Um, easy to find on Amazon between seven and ten dollars, which is what I get it for. I have the vinyl, but this is their 1988 CD and their last one to date. And this is very out of print, and I don't know if any label have uh, thought about putting this one out. So that's my last volume of the out of print and rare DVD uh, CD uh, collection for now, and I will have more coming sooner than later. So this is me signing out for now.